Hey guys, and welcome back to another Factorio workshop. As always, I am joined by Zuri. Greetings. And uh, today we're going over some combat uh, supply builds. Uh, these are made by Yoni. We've actually gone over quite a few of his builds previously, uh, but we haven't really gone over much combat stuff before, so that's why we chose this one. Uh, all, there's this, uh, the second one, and then the third one all come in a book. And it pretty much covers all of your... Uh, combat needs from mid game to late game. So I guess we can start at the top here. And uh, and this guy produces uh, piercing shotgun shells and uh, uranium ammo. And uh, you can see how the belts go in. It uses direct insertion pretty much as much as much as possible. It's very compact as well. And uh, I believe it's pretty close to the right ratios. He said that things were about as close to perfect ratio as he could get them. Uh, but it does dump the uh, the uranium ammo and piercing shotgun shells in the uh, providers here. So you could grab them from the bot network or just run by and get them. And uh, what, what are your thoughts on this first one here, Zuri? There's not much to say. It's got all the good parts. You know, the direct insertion. It's very symmetrical. The power lines line up correctly. Mostly. Mostly. <laughs> yeah. So all in all, uh, it's solid build. Yeah, I uh, one little gripe I have, and this is probably just a personal thing, is I do feel like uh, either in this build or maybe another build should have been supplied that did just piercing ammo because, I mean, I guess this is maybe targeted just towards late game, but, uh, you know, typically you won't really have uranium ammo in mid game yet. Um, and piercing ammo would be kind of your go-to, but this doesn't actually uh, make it outside of what's needed for the uranium ammo. Yeah, there's no internal buffer box of piercing in case you needed it, or if you haven't gotten to uranium ammo yet. Yeah, so that would have kind of been a nice addition, but other than that, I, uh, I do really like it. And uh, moving down to this guy here, this is kind of our uh, destroyer and uh, distractor bot guy. Uh, all belt fed again, uh, but put into the logistics network, and you can see it's making all the bots here and uh, directly inserting them pretty much wherever possible. It's and only limited to about one stack of each for the destroyers and the distractors, and I've seen people use many, many more stacks than that at a time. <laughs> yeah, you can, you can go through those super quick. Um, so it's, it's maybe kind of more of a, a budget thing. I mean, you know, it's not speeded or anything. They're level two assemblers, which uh, maybe might indicate that it's just kind of for if you're once in a while going out to do a little bit of combat. Which would be optimal for a rail world, I believe. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, uh, so very good build here. I think uh, very uh, either perfect ratio or very close to it. And... Uh, I do like the fact that they he, he did leave a little bit this one stack buffer for the uh, distractor capsules as well. Zuri, you were you, you were mentioning to me that uh, it is nice to have distractors as well, just because they're way way cheaper to use than destroyers. Yeah, you can leave them behind. They don't. Also, if, if you don't have a follower count really highly researched, distractors don't count towards followers, so you can use as many of them as you want. Yep. So really nice, uh, really nicely done here. Simple build, compact, pretty much symmetrical. And then the last one down here is uh, probably my favorite, just because it includes all the <laughs> explosive stuff that goes boom. Um, so this guy produces uh, the nukes, the atomic bombs here, um, explosive cannon shell or explosive rocket, sorry, and then uh, explosive uranium cannon shells and cluster grenades. And uh, all the feeds, again, through here, uh, petroleum on the top, water on the bottom, uh, plastic, you know, sulfur, and uh, all the explosives are made here. Some good use of, like, side loading and, and a little bit of uh, belt weaving back and forth. Maybe uh, I'm just weird, but I prefer the uh, non-exploding uh, tank shells. Yeah, I would actually agree with you, because I've used both as well, and it seems like the non-exploding are actually a little bit better most of the time. 
unless it's the, I think the exploding ones are maybe okay if you're like being chased by a huge group of biters but in terms of taking on spawners or something I think the others are probably better yeah I very commonly use the just the cannon shell to take out uh, big worms and such snipe them outside their range mm-hmm and, it's a uh, bit more difficult to do that with explosive. You got to hit him quite a few more times. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So there you go. Again, dumping into the uh, logistic network. A quick note is you do need to supply the blue circuits and U two thirty five via the logistics network uh, in some way because those two are requested in and not belted in. But uh, really good here. All these are limited to one stack. Uh, although since the nuke stack and tens. Kind of the same thing, like Zuri said, with the capsule build. Um, I would actually limit this a little more than one stack, since it's only stacking to 10. Uh, it's kind of like the destroyer capsules. It's uh, surprising how quickly you can actually go through nukes. It's surprising how expensive it is to do so, but that's fun. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's, that's fun. If you got resources to burn, then uh, you can uncap this or cap it, you know, not quite as heavily. But that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, really... Well done here. Um, these bells are all nice and compact, pretty much ratioed. You will notice we have bottleneck turned off a quick note, um, just because I'm sure someone noticed. Uh, we had to turn it off due to performance issues. Uh, it does get kind of crazy when you have a lot of builds. But uh, you'll notice most of these are all working, so pretty good. Yeah, sorry. My memory speed isn't up to date for my machine. It's my fault entirely. <laughs> well... Not entirely. I mean, the mod is pretty heavy at this point. Um, but I think that's going to do it, guys. So Blueprint Book, uh, link to the uh, Blueprint string for the book in the description, as always. If you need some combat stuff, definitely check these out. And uh, I believe that'll do it. Any last comments, Suri? Nope, that's everything. All right. As always, thanks for watching. Love to hear your thoughts below, and we will see you next time. Later.